The teaser trailer for IT Chapter 2 was recently released and everyone's starting to get excited for the sequel. Here are a few theories I have about Chapter 2. This video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. Theory number one. The fate of Henry Bowers. As a child, Henry Bowers is the most feared bully in town, terrorizing the Losers Club with his gang of thugs and his switchblade. His mental stability deteriorates towards the end of the summer when he kills his father and goes after the Losers Club to try to kill them as well. As an adult, Henry plays a significant part in the book. He's broken out of a mental asylum by It to seek revenge, but in It Chapter 1, Henry is bested by Mike, who knocks him into the well in the basement of 29 Nebolt, which looks to go on forever. This has led many to believe that the second film will be taking a different approach. But before I talk about my thoughts on how Henry might have survived, let me show you how you can survive in a dark RPG fantasy world with Raid Shadow Legends. Dinner is served. Now I used to play these types of games on the computer when I was a kid, and I was honestly pretty amazed that a mobile game could have just as good graphics and be just as immersive as a PC experience. Now I haven't upgraded my phone in a while, but as you can see, this runs completely smooth, and it doesn't have a negative impact on the graphics either. But aside from that, this game really takes the story seriously, which is important to me. The boss fights are these huge, epic battles, and there are hundreds of champions in-game for you to collect and customize. And on top of that, Raid's special launch tournament is happening right now, so if you download Raid, only through my link in the description, you'll get 50,000 in in-game silver immediately. But the coolest part is you'll also be entered into their special launch tournament, where you can compete with me and other players for crazy in-game prizes and physical prize packs. We're talking figurines, power banks, t-shirts, and more showing up at your house. So use the link in the description to download Raid today. So how did Henry Bowers survive the fall in the well house? We've already seen that It has the power to transfigure parts of the house, so I think it stands to reason that It could have created some kind of net or something to catch Henry. Henry had already proven himself a worthy servant by killing off his father at the request of Pennywise, and in a deleted scene, killing two of his friends, Victor and Belch. If we take that to be canon, then it might not really work for either of them to be the form that It uses to break Henry out of the asylum, so maybe Henry never actually left Derry. I think it's kind of a creepy idea idea to consider that it's kept Henry down in the sewers all of those years, just waiting to unleash his minion again 27 years later. Theory number two. We discover the origin of It. In 1990, the first adaptation of It was released in the form of a two-part TV miniseries. Understandably, with the novel coming in at over 1,100 pages, some of those scenes had to be left out, one of which was the smoke hole scene, where the members of the Loser Club attempt to carry out an ancient Native American ritual to help them decide what they should do about their Pennywise problem. The ritual involves them starting a campfire in their underground fort and breathing in the smoke until they have a vision telling them what to do. If that sounds familiar, you may have already read the book, or maybe you just hung out with the wrong kids in high school. I don't really know. But when they carry out the ritual, everyone jumps out except for Richie and Mike, and they see their tiny clubhouse expand, and then the smoke clears and they find themselves in the middle of the barrens. But the landscape is different, and they're surrounded by animals that haven't lived in Maine for thousands of years. Now, I'm not going to spoil anything, but they basically see the arrival of it. This scene takes place when they're kids, and it's obviously not in chapter one. But just because we didn't see it in the movie doesn't mean that it didn't happen. We've already seen in the trailer that there will be flashbacks to when they were all children. And the majority of the adult portion of the novel is their forgotten childhood memories coming back to them. So I think we could either see a smoke hole scene as a flashback in chapter two, or another scene that explains Pennywise's origins. Based on the trailer, it looks like there's already going to be some backstory on Pennywise's human form, Bob Gray, which is the name that Pennywise uses to introduce himself to several characters in the book, such as Georgie, Eddie, and Beverly. My third theory pertains to the final form of it. Now, obviously, there's no way I can do this one without going into spoilers. So if you haven't seen the miniseries or read the book, it's a quick enough read, isn't it? You can just breeze through that puppy and, uh, an hour or two? So when it comes to the 1990 adaptation, the most common complaint by far is the final spider form. It's probably the least scary part, making everything feel a bit anticlimactic. And it's just following the book, but in the book, King also is able to explain that it's not really a spider and that that's just the closest thing that our tiny human brains can interpret it as. But the response to the miniseries spider has led some to believe that filmmakers behind It Chapter 2 are going to take it in a different direction. We have seen them set up a possible showdown between It and Bill, which is known as the Ritual of Chud in the book, where Bill is launched outside of his physical body into this thing called the Macroverse, where he basically has to defeat It it with his mind, with the guidance of another celestial being known as the Turtle, who is also teased and referenced at in Chapter 1. Who was that? Just saw my foot right here! Right here, right here, right here! It's a turtle. 
However, unlike the smoke hole scene, it's not like this is something that could have happened, but it just wasn't shown in the first movie. We see that final battle, and that doesn't happen. But what does happen is Pennywise temporarily transforms into a half arachnid creature while cycling among forms. And I have to think this is a little tease that the second movie will stay true to the idea of its final form appearing as a spider to the losers. However, I don't think that necessarily means that it's going to be anticlimactic again. I just think that they have to make a cooler looking arachnid than the one from 1990. Maybe instead of a giant spider, it's more of a half clown, half spider alien hybrid. I always thought it was strange that we're haunted by a clown for the whole story, and then at the end it's just a spider all of a sudden. So I think incorporating the clown into the spider form would be a more fitting conclusion. Let me know what your own theories are in the comments, and click the video on the left to check out everything you might have missed in the trailer for IT Chapter 2. Remember to subscribe to CZ's World for new horrors every week, ring that death bell for notifications, check out Raid Shadow Legends in the description, and I'll see you in the next one. Assuming we both survive.